Hey guys, what's up? So WhatsApp, our beloved messaging platform, is getting a new AI chatbot called the Meta AI. The Meta AI is a cutting edge artificial intelligence model that's now integrated into WhatsApp. And this chatbot is designed to assist and converse with users in a natural human-like way. So basically, this is the future of conversations. So the rollout of the Meta AI chatbot for WhatsApp has been very gradual and I just received it on my WhatsApp today. So it's been really exciting and interesting to converse, to interact with this AI right within your WhatsApp. So the biggest advantage being you don't need a separate dedicated app in order to interact with the AI. So there are plenty of users of having this Meta AI chatbot within your WhatsApp. One of the most important uses being it can answer your questions. You can literally ask the Meta AI chatbot anything you want and you will get straight up specific answers. You can also ask the AI to generate text or even translate some of the text that some other people might have sent you. You can also ask the AI to summarize the messages and of course you can even ask it to suggest you some ideas for whichever particular project you're working on. So let's give you a quick look and a demo of the Meta AI chatbot within WhatsApp and see what it's capable of. You're watching Travel Tech, let's get started. All right, so here's the WhatsApp page and as you can see on top, you have the Meta AI chatbot window opened up. So in order to actually access this chatbot, you have this blue mark right here, this blue ring right above your contact list. So as soon as you click on this blue ring, the AI chatbot opens with the name of Meta AI. So I previously had a chat with this, so that's what the result is showing about. So let's move on and show you a quick example of what you can do with the Meta AI. So let's just say I want to hear a joke. So let's ask the chatbot to do that. Let's say I want to hear a joke. And if I send it, so it says here's a joke for you. Why did the computer go to the doctor? Because it had a virus. A pretty simple joke, but hey, it's still doing the job. So basically you can ask any question, you can have a conversation, you can have a detailed analysis of any particular subject you want to take a look at. So if I just ask the AI at what height do aeroplanes fly? So the response time is about 2 to 3 seconds or should I say maximum of about 5 seconds. And here is the response of the AI, the typical heights at which airplanes fly is around 33,000 to 42,000 feet. And it also provides the answer in relation to various different kinds of planes such as the commercial airlines, private jets, military jets, small aircraft. So you get a detailed response and also with that you also get the links at the bottom which you can click and get to know it even better. You also have a like and a dislike button. You can give this reaction if you like the answer and you can of course dislike the answer as well. So let's give the AI an idea and tell it to make an image. Let's say I want an image of a dash camera in grass. Well, that's a random request. So let's see what this AI can make up for it. So it took about five seconds again. So here's a random AI generated image. And what do you think of this? This looks really good now, doesn't it? I mean, at first instance, if I never said to you about using AI, you would not believe that this was AI generated. You would have thought I actually took this photograph. So let's try a random request again. Create an image of a supercar flying in the sky. So random image request, let's see what the Meta AI can do regarding this. Well, here you go. It has just overlapped a supercar image over the skyline of some city and not exactly what I was looking for, but it's doing its job based on what info it finds the best on internet. So let's put on some another random request. Image of a smartwatch with colored dials and a steel strap. And here's the image in about four to five seconds. And here you go, pretty much what I requested for a complete AI generated image, which 
practically and completely resembles or replicates what I requested from it. So I really think the AI is performing very well and this is going to be very helpful for creators because they can create any image they want, they can get all the info they want using the Meta AI and enhance their creativity, enhance their productivity work and this is going to be a real game changer because this is integrated right within WhatsApp. And if you take a look at the profile, this says it is with Llama 3 large language model and the Meta AI chatbot name popping up right here on top. So in terms of creative use cases, the possibilities are quite endless. You have an infinite number of options and info available at your fingertips and this is going to improve and enhance the productivity of every creator who is out there. This is not just a chatbot, it's a creative partner. And the best example being this entire video, the script for this entire video was generated by AI and not by me. So were you able to recognize that this video had an AI written script? You probably did not. This goes to show you the power of AI and how it can help you in enhancing your work and reducing your workload. The Meta AI chatbot is powered by the Llama 3 large language model and its inclusion in WhatsApp is truly a game changer. So I want you to guys to go ahead and try this in your WhatsApp and experience the future of conversations. So I hope you liked this video and in case if you did, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and smash that like button. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Insta and the WhatsApp page. The links to those are given in the description as well. Thanks for watching and welcome to the AI future.